Excuse me. Are you quite comfortable down there? Hmm? Are you quite comfortable? Hello. Laying down here by the heater. You're the smart dog. Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about something that I get asked about quite a bit. Uh, anytime I show a video of us driving up in the cab and I I have my stereo system shown in the video, I get a lot of questions about it. Uh, I think a lot of people assume because it looks like it's a tablet, but it's not a tablet. And today I'm going to talk about what exactly do I have in the dashboard of my truck. So the device I have uh, in the dashboard, it's actually, it's a car stereo. Uh, in, in the car stereo field, it's called a head unit, okay? But it's, it's the stereo. So if you have uh, in your vehicle, uh, you have a stereo system. Um, usually takes up a space, you know, about yay big, uh, sometimes bigger, sometimes smaller. The type of stereo that I have can be mounted into most every vehicle out there, unless it's some kind of exotic dashboard kind of thing. But any Ford E-Series, F-Series, uh, Dodge Ram, uh, Kodiak, any of those, probably even a Freightliner, although I haven't seen a Freightliner dashboard. Uh, in, the, in the car stereo industry, there are standards for mounting a car stereo into the dashboard. They uh, have a system, it's called a, a DIN system, D-I-N. I don't know what that stands for, but I'm going to look it up and put it right here on the screen. I've been using that terminology for the last 40 years. Uh, when you talk about a stereo system. So single DIN is a stereo that's about yay tall. Double DIN is twice that. It's a stereo that's about this tall. So an example in my Ford E450, the original stereo that was in the dashboard was a double DIN. So it took up about that much space. Uh, it was a pretty standard AM, FM, I think it may have had a cassette uh, player in it. You know, this is an O2, so back then cassettes were still a thing. So the unit I have is uh, manufactured by a company called Joying, J-O-Y-I-N-G. This is actually the second Joying stereo that I've had. The first one was back, I put it in my daughter's first car, her Volkswagen, and I've talked about this before. You know, I bought my daughter her first car when she was in high school, one of the first things I did was rip the dashboard apart, put in a new stereo system with the touch screen. I put new door speakers all around, big subwoofers in the back, two amplifiers because, you know, that's that's what I do, that kind of stuff. My daughter obviously loved it. She was the, the king of the high school parking lot. Uh, but that was my first contact with the joining company. I don't remember how I originally got turned on to them because there are other manufacturers that sell these types of stereos. Uh, but I, I just looked back through my emails from way back then and I had this email conversation back and forth with them, um, selecting which unit I wanted. Uh, and then when I bought the one from my truck, same thing. I had a conversation back and forth with them. Their support is very, very responsive. And it's one of the reasons why I really recommend the joining company. Like I said, there's a lot of companies that sell these types of stereo systems. I have had great, great support from the joining company. Uh, I had a little problem with this one when I first installed it. Uh, I was unable to get uh, new apps to install. And they got my email when I sent them that problem. And they actually sent me a new software package that was specific. Like they made that software, sent it to me. I installed it on the system, you know, updated the Android software. And ever since then, it's installed apps perfectly. Now, I just touched on 
what makes this unique. This is an Android-based stereo. So if you have a, a tablet, you know, and I have a tablet in the back of the rig, it's a Lenovo 10-inch Android-based tablet, very, very similar to what I have installed in my dash. Now, you can take a tablet and attach it to your dashboard and plug in a charging cable, and you'd have to plug in uh, a speaker output from the headphone jack and run those wires to an amplifier uh, or straight to some speakers. You know, you can do that, and a lot of people do have tablets attached to their dash. The, the, the beauty of this system is it's installed in the dashboard, just like a stereo system. Now, the screen sticks out from the unit, and that's the way it's designed. And if you take a look at this, this screen actually can pop off from here. You see that? And it's attached with a ribbon cable. Now, this is the actual stereo itself. This is just a screen. So this is installed in the dashboard, just like a stereo system would be. A double DIN install, and then the screen plugs in and pops on with these holders. And this is adjustable up and down, so you can move this screen up and down. One of the questions I had when I was communicating with them, I was concerned about the fitment here. So I didn't want to cover up my, my knobs and my dials for my air conditioning system. And so talking back and forth with them, they agreed that this unit here would fit perfectly. I still have access to all of my, my controls up here. Uh, just to be clear too, I am not sponsored by Joying in any way. I just want to share the details of my system here and I really do uh, believe in their company. Again, this is the second one I've had. They've worked flawlessly other than that one software update that I had to do. So I recommend the company and that's why I'm gonna talk about them in such detail today. Now they come in multiple different sizes. Again, I have a 9.7 inch screen. They have them uh, not, not only in this horizontal format, but also in the vertical format. So if you wanna have that kind of that really new style look with the up and down screen, uh, you can get that. And they also have them that they can be rotated. So they can be either horizontal or vertical. Now, what's the benefit of having this over a tablet? Well, this is, this is hardwired into the truck. So they include uh, wiring harnesses so that you can tap into your existing wires up in the dash, wire in their harness, and then plug it right into their unit. Uh, you can wire it into your existing speakers. Now, I don't have my door speakers wired in. My door speakers are still the original, you know, just low quality. They're almost 20 years old. I'm sure they're no good. Uh, when I first drove my rig with the original stereo system, I immediately knew I had to do an upgrade because I couldn't even hardly hear on full volume. I could hardly hear the door speakers uh, when I was driving the rig. You know, these engines are a little bit noisy. So I installed these, uh, these enclosed, these are three-way speakers up here, Pioneers. They're really great. You know, I wanted them up at my ear level so that I could listen. I do a lot of podcast listening when I'm driving. So voice, I wanted to be able to hear the voices. And you all know that I also have the the 12 inch subwoofer installed up in the ceiling of the, the walkthrough there. You don't have to do all of that. You can wire it into your existing speakers. Uh, it has its own internal amplifier. I have external amps. Uh, you guys know, cause I'm gadget guy and that's what I really like doing. Plus I also had those two amps from my daughter's uh, car. When I sold her car, I took all that equipment out of it, except the head unit, I left that in and it was still wired up to all the new door speakers I had put in. So they have their own internal amp. You don't need to use an external amp. And again, it's hardwired into your vehicle's wiring system. So it's not, you don't have to plug anything in. This is, you know, a clean install. Nothing is plugged in externally. Uh, what you see right here is what you get. Some of the great features that this has, uh, again, it's an Android-based system, so it runs every app that you can install on an Android system, except one that I know of so far. I cannot install Netflix. Netflix requires 
a specific type of security chip kind of thing and Netflix will not install on this drawing system. Now, there may be some super workaround that I just don't know, and having Netflix is not super important to me. So Android, I obviously, I have YouTube on there. I have uh, Prime Video. I've watched, I shouldn't say that. I've played Prime Video while I'm driving. Uh, you know, Waze, Google Maps. That's what I use for my uh, navigation is Google Maps. And you've seen it on the screen before in my driving videos. So I go, you go to the Google Play Store and you install apps just like you do on your phone, your Android phone or your Android tablet. So huge, huge tinker ability, you know, and I like to tinker with stuff. So any app you want to try on there and I've got uh, you've seen me also show where I'm monitoring the boost pressure and the RPMs and all that. Uh, that's an app called Torque. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty famous app for monitoring your system. So I install the Torque app and then I have my uh, OBD2 dongle that I plugged in and I've shown this before. And I'm going to put a link to this dongle because this one works flawlessly. There's some out there that don't work at all or they work very poorly. This one works flawlessly. So if you're going to get an OBD2 adapter, get this one for your Ford vehicle. And I would assume it's going to work on any other OBD2 vehicle. So apps, you can install all kinds of great apps on there. And some of the other things that it has, it has inputs for the backup camera. So you can, you can actually uh, have multiple cameras plugged into this. And you've seen me, I have a backup camera installed. Uh, and something I did on the backup camera, and I've had some people question me about this too, I installed a switch so that I can turn on that backup camera anytime I want. That is something I, I really recommend that. If you're, if you're able to just wire in that switch, so when I'm, say I'm merging on the expressway and there's people coming up uh, on either the left or the right, I flip that switch on and I can see I have really great vision out the back. I take a look at my motorcycle when we're traveling. I flip that switch on and the camera shows my bike. I can make sure that it's, you know, the cover hasn't blown off and that it's not wobbling excessively, anything like that. I really recommend you install the backup camera with a switch so you can turn it on anytime, not just when you're in reverse, but anytime. Because this unit uh, has the feature to install the backup camera, it has those guidelines when you're backing up, so it shows that. It also has the ability to plug in external USB drives. There's a couple of USB cords that come out the back of this unit that you can have accessible so you can plug in a thumb drive with files on it, video files, music files, things like that. The other USB line is for doing software upgrades. It has Wi-Fi. Uh, they do have units available that have cellular built in, but they're more geared towards European and uh, that side of the world cellular systems. I didn't want to really fiddle around with that here because they couldn't give me some finite answers on like, will it work with Verizon kind of thing. So I got it. Uh, mine's Wi-Fi enabled. And you know, I have that little hotspot in the back of the rig with my WeBoost. So when we're driving, that uh, hotspot is transmitting a Wi-Fi signal inside the rig. And my head unit is always connected to that Wi-Fi. Like I'll be watching YouTube's podcast all the way across the country. Uh, it works flawlessly. It also has uh, GPS. It has the little GPS pod that I mounted up on the dashboard. That is uh, That wire goes down and into the back of the unit. So when you're driving and you're using Waze or Google Maps for uh, navigation, it knows your location. It, it can communicate GPS. It can track your speed, that kind of stuff. So it does have GPS built into it. I mentioned a few minutes ago that I have a couple of amplifiers hooked up to this. Uh, so it has the RCA outputs on the back of it that you can wire right into some amplifiers. It has a subwoofer RCA output. Now, one of the things um, that this allows you to do, it's an option in the settings, is that you can allow the video while you're driving. Now, in, in many states, if not all, watching video while you're driving is a no-no. So an example is uh, in my car, I used to drive to work every day. It had uh, a screen that was built into it, a factory screen 
uh, DVD player, but as soon as you put it into drive, uh, the screen would blank. It wouldn't let you play video while in motion. This has an option. You go into the settings and it's, I think it's worded like allow video while driving. And yes, I, like I said, I do a lot of listening to podcasts like Joe Rogan. You've seen me playing that before. So those are on YouTube. So I start the video. Am I watching it? No, I'm listening to it. Do I look over there and see it every once in a while? Yeah, absolutely. There's a, almost a 10 inch screen right there with a video playing on it. So it's really great to be able to play the video when you're sitting with the car running, just you know, safely, obviously, if you're driving. Now my unit doesn't have any kind of drive, like it doesn't have a CD drive, DVD drive, nothing like that. Now something else I wanted to mention, uh, when I bought the original one of these for my daughter's Volkswagen, they actually sell units that have the trim for the specific car and they did have it for my daughter's Volkswagen. So it came with, uh, it came pre-mounted in the plastic trim and then that plastic trim screwed right into the dashboard, really looked factory. So instead of her, her big double din stereo system that was a CD drive and AM FM, it was now a touch screen, but in that same trim and it looked perfect. They didn't have that for an E450, probably not a popular uh, vehicle for upgrading to an in-dash stereo, but um, they do have it for, for, for a good number of vehicles. Maybe not in our segment here, the, the kind of vehicles that we're talking about, you know, the truck kind of stuff, but you never know. They may have it for the F-Series um, or for the Kodiaks or the Rams, but they didn't have it for the Van Series, the E-Series. So how hard is this to install? If you've ever done any car stereo installation, it's just like that. There's really no difference. You're wiring in your switched power, your constant power, your ground, you're plugging in your antenna, you're running your little GPS pod out there, you're wiring in your speakers. It's all the exact same as if you're doing any other stereo system. Just so happens that when this one turns on, it's a full Android system. What's my favorite thing about this unit? That I can have everything I need running on one screen. So I'll have Google Maps running, uh, you know, monitoring our trip. Uh, I can have YouTube playing uh, at the same time. Uh, I can flip on my backup camera. When I flip on the backup camera, what it does is um, the Google Maps shrinks down and goes down in the corner so I can still see it, but the backup camera is now taking over the full screen. I like having everything on one screen, one device, and you know, a clean screen. There's no wires coming out of it. It's not plugged into the charge or anything like that. And, and that I really like, uh, again, any app except Netflix that you can install on an Android system, you can install it on one of these. Now they have sizes. Um, they have some big ones now. Uh, again, mine's just under 10 inches. It's 9.7. They have say up to like 15 inch. They have some really Tesla looking vertical ones that are really sharp. I, I would love to be able to put one of those in here. So let's turn on, uh, I'm going to turn on accessory power, which will power on the stereo and we'll see what kind of things I can do with this. Now, does it run as fast as my phone? Not quite, no. Um, you know, it's got a lot of stuff going on, uh, but you just saw that startup. That was pretty good. Um, Google Maps launches. If you had it running the last time, it'll come right back up. If I have a trip in, say we're coming across the country and I stop at a rest stop for an hour, and then we get back in and I start the truck back up, the Google Maps comes back up with the same route already in there, so I don't have to type in my destination anymore. So it, it holds that in its memory and starts it back up. Let's try our Prime Video. There we go. So I, I've been watching uh, Foil's War and Endeavor, a uh, couple of shows I really enjoy. Those are my evening shows, like after dinner, after our walk and after dinner. I put those on for a couple of episodes each night, and I've been going through those. I really enjoy those, just some nice calming uh, evening time watching. 
So we'll see if this will start up and play for us. Shouldn't have any problem. I knew it. Get his name right, at least for his parents' sake. Mm. It's Edison Smalls. Workmates all called him Danny. Or Daniel. He only got Edison at home. So, this Aston, or Ashton, what about them? Miss Palfrey may have been closer to the doctor than his wife cared for. There was a divorce. So how cool is that? We'll back up. So I'm just, you know, like regular Android, you swipe down from the top to get your, your menu up here. Now you can see some of the icons up here. I have Gmail. Obviously, Android has got Gmail. There's an email from mom. So I'll have to go back and read that when I'm off the camera. So full, full Android notifications. Uh, I'll show you. So here's the audio adjustment. So it does have an equalizer and subwoofer level output. Their upgraded audio system units have way more like surround sound and all kinds of stuff in there. And you can see there the Wi-Fi signal is showing up nice and strong. Uh, I've got Waze on here. So I have a lot of apps on here. Let's try YouTube and see what we got. Oh, this is YouTube music. Oops. So we are um, cell signal through the Wii Booster to my hotspot to the Wi-Fi, and this is connecting to the Wi-Fi. So there we go. I don't want to play someone else's videos, but you get the point here. Oh, look at my puppy. That's when he wasn't feeling good. Are you having fun up here on the mountainside? Oh, <laughs> I know you are. Calm down, buddy. Every time I do that, he gets confused, I think, because he hears me talking, but I'm not talking. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I know we've got some reflection off of the screen uh, from the camera here, so I'm doing my best to show it to you guys, but I think you get the point. It's, it's, an, Android, uh, it's an Android system, just like a tablet or a phone. So again, the company name is Joying, J-O-Y-I-N-G, and their, their website, you can buy some of their units right off of Amazon, but I recommend going to their website, joyingauto.com, and I'll put a link down below. That's their direct sales, uh, and they do ship uh, from within the U.S. or overseas, depending on what models and what their inventory is at the time. So I've, again, this is my second unit, built to a high quality, they're their service and support uh, has been really awesome. They always answer very rapidly and they've, they've answered any questions I've ever had and have provided me with um, two units. Now, what are the costs of these things? Now I'm going back in memory here and I believe that this unit here, about $340 if I remember right. If I'll look it up and I'll put a correction here if I need to, but I think that's what it was. Obviously, they have units, different sizes, different features, uh, so their, their prices vary, but you can see it on their website, and I recommend if you're interested in something like this, really go look at their units, um, have a conversation with them, and see if you don't get a good vibe from them as a company, and I think you will, and I think you'll be impressed with their units and the quality of them. I hope this uh, answered the questions that I get for the unit. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Uh, is it better than having a tablet? I think so because you don't have to worry about plugging things into it. Other companies that sell Android-based units, you can see some really inexpensive ones on Amazon. I can't vouch for any of those. I don't know those companies. I do know Joying and I would vouch for them as a company. This is not a paid sponsorship at all. This is just me and my experience. You know, we're coming up on two and a half years with this unit installed in the rig, using it all the time, and it has not let me down at all. In fact, it's, it's pretty awesome to have as a companion when I'm driving. It really is. Oh! Watch the camera, buddy. What you doing? You getting bored? Go ahead. See, I got this. Oh, Lord. Come here, buddy. You got to come backwards so I can unhook you. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I love this thing. I really do. Um, so everybody take care. Be safe. And we'll see you all again really soon. And don't watch a video while you're driving.
we're just shooting a video. We're not going anywhere. He got so excited when I started working around in the cab of the truck that he came jumping into his seat and he's ready to roll. Oops, let me go get it. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on.